August 18th. On this day we celebrate the memory of the holy martyrs Floris and Loris and of their companions. Saint Floris and his twin brother Loris lived during the reign of Hadrian. They were stone cutters, a skill that they had learnt from Saints Patroclus and Maximus in Byzantium. Having also received the seed of piety from their teachers, they put their skill at the service of God, and when they fashioned the stone to give it form and grace, they were conscious of working in reality on their own souls, to free them from the passions and to make them shine with the radiance of the divine likeness through the possession of the holy virtues. After the martyrdom of Saints Patroclus and Maximus, they left Byzantium and made their home in the town of Ulpiana in Dardania, in the province of Illyria. Once settled, they asked the governor Lycan for permission to make use of the quarries to find suitable stone to sculpt. They acquired a good reputation for their work and were then summoned by Licinius, the empress's son, who gave a large sum of money to them for the building of a temple in honor of the idols, the plans of which he had drawn up himself. The saints pretended to accept the proposition, but immediately gave the money away to the poor. Spending their nights in prayer, they worked by day to build the temple, helped by an angel sent by God and by the pagan priest Merentius, whose son, wounded in the eye by a piece of stone, had been healed by the saints. The work was thus rapidly completed, and the statues of the gods were installed in the temple. The saints then gathered by night all the poor whom they had helped, and together they tied ropes to the statues and toppled them to the ground. Having thus purified the temple, they transformed it into a church of Christ. When Licinius heard of this, he, overwhelmed by rage, gave orders that a great furnace be prepared and the poor who had been the accomplices of Florus and Loris be burnt alive. As for the latter, he had them tied to a cartwheel and beaten without mercy. Seeing the saints' endurance, the ten soldiers who had the task of torturing them were converted and were immediately executed. Licinius then sent the two saints to Lycon, the governor, who had them thrown into a deep well. It was there that the holy martyrs gave their valiant souls into Christ's keeping, giving thanks to God and praying for all the Christians. After the persecution, their bodies were discovered to be incorrupt, and they gave forth a heavenly fragrance. Many miracles were wrought through the relics, including the healing of the governor's nephew from blindness. Blessed is our God, always known for the birth of the age of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, O comforter, the spirit of truth, who art in our places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. We always eat the kingdom of all the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and for the good of the ages. Amen. Thy martyrs, O Lord, in their courageous contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life, from thee, our immortal God. For since they possess thy strength, they cast on the tyrants 
and wholly destroyed the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ, God, by the prayer, save our souls, since thou art merciful. The charioteer of Pharaoh was sunk in olden times by Moses' rod, which wrought a mighty wonder when in the cross his form it struck the sea, dividing it in twain. And it led into safety sojourning Israel that fled by foot, chanting to the Lord God a song of praise. O holy martyrs, Flores and Loras, pray to God for us. O saints who brightly shine with the splendorous lightings of the Spirit, break up the gloomy clouds of my soul, that I may joyously hymn your light-bringing and august memorial, O most courageous martyrs of Christ. Holy martyrs, Flores and Loras, pray to God for Building us. Building yourselves up on the rock of the blameless faith by means of divine virtues, O blessed Flores and Loras, you were shown to be a most beautiful and delightful house, wherein the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit made his abode. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Cutting out thorny error by the roots with the cutting word of inspired faith, Flores and Loras, great of name, tilled hearts dried up in delusion and made them fruitful, sprouting forth irreproachable faith. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. From a virginal womb, O unwatered root, thou hast put forth the planter of all who became man and endured sufferings, out of longing for whom the divine martyrs faithfully strove in contest, O immaculate and all hymned virgin. Of the vault of the heavens art thou, Lord Fashioner, so too of the church art thou founder. Do thou establish me in unfeigned love for thee, who art the height of things sought for, and staff of the faithful, O thou only friend of man. O holy martyrs, Flores and Loras, pray to God for us. Feeling the love of God, O all renowned martyrs, you richly supplied the poor with bread and guided them unto godly religion, becoming the cause of their salvation. Holy martyrs, Flores and Loras, pray to God for the us. The light giving pair of athletes, shining with beams of miracles, has driven off the polytheistic darkness of error and has guided all the erring to the brightness of the God given faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By your divine counsels, you guided the childish people in all piety onto the path of inspired knowledge, O martyrs. And by your prayer, you dashed the demons' altars to the ground, O blessed Flores and Laura. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O grace of God, made and unwedded, through whom shown unto us the Word, who is apprehended to be beyond all beginning. Save thy flock and every city and countryside from all calamity. As is meet, O ye faithful, with songs and hymns, let us love the wise athletes and conquerors. Brave Floras, the great of fame, and wise Loras, whom all acclaim. For they preach that Christ truly is God, ere eternity, and in conquest they quelled the deceit of idolatry. Wherefore, by their faith, they heaped up shame on the tyrants, and found incorruptible praise and glory by grace divine. For this cause let us cry to them, intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them, that with longing keep your holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As the mother of life and the queen of all, thou hast passed to the life immaterial. For thou, who had seedlessly once conceived God and brought him forth, in the flesh without suffering corruption hast been arrayed, with the new incorruption bestowed by the Spirit's grace. Wherefore, as is me, thou hast been truly revealed as the bright cloud that raineth down the divine waters of our life, blameless virgin and mother of God, entreat thy Son and God that he grant the forgiveness of their failings unto all that laud thy godly dormition, worshipping it faithfully. E 
Thou art my strength, thou art my power and might, O Lord. Thou art my God, thou who hast not absent from thy father's arms. Thou, Lord, art my joy. Thou hast deigned to visit our lowliness and our poverty. To thee, therefore, I cry out with Habakkuk the prophet. Glory be to thy power, O friend of man. O holy martyrs, Floris and Loris, pray to God for us. Like spirited young men, courageous Floris and Loris joined close battle with the adversary and mightily dash him to the ground with the weapon of the cross. And those broken down in sin they built up to be the Lord's living temples, who piously sang, Glory be to thy power, O friend of man. Holy martyrs, Floris and Loris, pray to God for Made us. Made powerful by Christ, the stone cut from the mountain of the maiden mother of God, as is written, O saints, you gloriously break the idols to pieces, and were lifted up to the notable height of salvation, and verily became like unto the angels. Holy martyrs, Floris and Loris, pray to God for the us. The hallowed pair of athletes, Floris and Loris, joyfully proclaim to the godless the one brightness of the three sun godhead, and they eagerly drank the cup of martyrdom, while singing unto Christ, Glory be to thy power, O Christ. And of man. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The divine martyrs, the two luminaries lighting up the ends of the world, being in submission to the law of God, brought the lawless to submit to worshipping him alone, when they opened their eyes and enlightened the vision of their mind. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The God and fashion of all chose thee, the ever-virgin, out of all generations, because of thy purity, O Theotokos, and he, the only king of the ages, made thy womb an undefiled palace, and appeared from thee unto mankind. Wherefore hast thou deprived me, and cast me the hapless one far from thy countenance, and the outer darkness is enshrouded, and cast its gloom over me? Yet now I beseech thee, do thou convert me, and direct me to the light of thy precepts, O Lord my God. O holy martyrs, Floris and Loris, pray to God for us. No division separated a fraternal pair of God's martyrs, but believing in the indivisible and holy trinity, by grace they united in one hope, those long divided by unseemly error. Holy martyrs, Floris and Loris, pray to God for With us. With the cord of truth and the chisel of divine knowledge, who devoutly hewed stony minds and made them to be temples of the trinity, in all godliness, with the help of divine strength and the illumination of the Spirit, O prize winners, Floris and Loris. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You prove to be uprooters of wickedness and planters of all piety, O glorious martyrs, for by word and deed you planted in desolate hearts the word that sprang from the divine root of justice. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O all blameless maiden, the great mystery laid up from before all ages, which was not made known unto former generations, through thee was made manifest, even the Father's word, who existed before the ages, and was incarnate, and became man. O Lord, be gracious to me, for many are mine iniquities, and from the pit of my wicked deeds raise me up, I pray. For unto thee have I cried, O God of my salvation and my Saviour, hearken unto me. O holy martyrs, Floris and Loris, pray to God for us. With burning patience, the lawful athletes of Christ vanquished the lawless and gained a prize-worthy end, for they were not buried in the vanity of ungodliness. Holy martyrs, Floris and Loris, pray to God for the us. The swords of the mighty spirit, you wounded fleshless adversaries, O blessed Floris and Loris, and you reverently portray the blessed passion of him that was wounded in his soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You appeared as two right comely breasts of the Church of Christ, O celebrating martyrs, not pouring forth milk, but gushing abundant and saving grace. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Heal my soul, which ails with sin, O all pure one, who didst conceive the healer of souls, whom the divine martyr has confessed and became healers of our sufferings.
The whole world does all gloriously honor Florus and Lorus today as martyrs of piety and divinely wise athletes of Christ that we may receive grace and mercy through their prayers and may be delivered from tribulations and dangers and from wrath and sorrow on the day of judgment. Once in Babylon the fire stood in awe of the condescension of God, wherefore the youths dancing with joy step in the furnaces in a meadow chanted, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers, O holy martyrs, Floris and Loris, pray to God for us. Overturning the timber and stone goats of the godless Loris and Floris of great fame, set themselves up as pillars of divine knowledge for them that sing, Blessed is the God of our Father. Holy martyrs, Floris and Loris, pray to God for us. Fear with the fire of the divine spirit, O martyrs, with the shows of your divine prayers, you preserved and harmed the righteous man fearfully condemned to be cast in a furnace of glorious martyrs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The martyrs, Flores and Loras, continually grant healing to the ailing, deliverance to the wronged, and salvation to all in danger. And they cry, Blessed is the God of our Father. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God chose thee as a rose out of the veils of life, for all blameless maiden. And having dwelled in thee, he came forth in the flesh, making fragrant with sense of divine knowledge, us who ever confess thee to be the Theotokos. The Chaldee tyrant, mad with rage, fired his furnace of blazing flame, seven times more hot against the worshippers of God. But seeing them kept in safety by a power greater than his, he then cried aloud, Ye children, bless the Creator, the Saviour and Redeemer. O ye priests, sing his praises, exalt him, O ye people, to all the endless ages. O holy martyrs, Floris and Loris, pray to God for us. Sustaining with your living word, soul spining away in a famine of the food of salvation, O all celebrated saints, you became providers for paupers and orphans, and filled the needs of all. As you sang unto Christ, you children, bless him. O you priests, sing his praises. Exalt him, O you people, to all the endless ages. Holy martyrs, Floris and Loris, pray to God for us. Most sacred was your life and your underwise, Floris and Loris, and when, having been hid for a great while, you were yielded up from the earth, you shined upon us beams of astonishing miracles, brighter than the rays of the sun, and we sing with faith, bless Christ, O you priests, exalt him, O you people, unto the earth. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. You have appeared as to light sacredly conspicuous in the spiritual firmament of the Church, O prize winners, and with the wonders you work, you manifestly enlighten all creation at all times while crying, you children, bless Christ, O you priests, sing his praises, exalt him, O you people, unto the ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou became holier than the angels, O all holy maiden, conceiving the holy of holies, who in his compassion became immortal as we are, without commingling, to save them that unceasingly cry to him. You children, bless him, O you priests, Sing his praises, exalt him, O you people, to all the endless ages. The heavens were astonished and stood in awe, and the ends of the earth, O maid, were sore amazed. For God appeared bodily to mankind as very man. And lo, thy womb is proved to be vaster and more spacious than heaven's heights. For this, O Theotokos, the choirs and assemblies of men and angels magnify thy name. O holy martyrs, Floris and Loras, pray to God for us. Behold now, 
David once cried out, What is so good or so delightful and saving as for divine brethren truly to dwell together in spirit, having fought illustriously and raised up a victory over the devil? Let us worthily call them blessed. Holy martyrs, Flores and Lores, pray to God for By us. By grace you appeared as beautiful eyes of the Holy Church, O saints, and unto the glory of the benefactor of all, both before death and after your sacred end. You open eyes long since blinded with bleak darkness, O admirable Flores and Lores. Holy martyrs, Flores and Lores, pray to God for with us. With clear and terrible signs, Christ makes manifest your place of burial and your grave, O saints, as he long ago foretold where your heroic bodies have sacredly lain, profusely emitting rays of healings and a magnificent fragrance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A truly divine and shining pair of Flores and Lores, right victorious martyrs, as you ever stand in the heavens before the all-accomplishing Trinity. Ask that deliverance from sins and adversities be granted unto them that celebrate in faith your divine memorial on earth. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Awesome is thy giving of birth, O pure mother, for unto the word of God, before whom the orders of the heavens tremble, thou gavest birth past nature when he became a man upon the earth, and thou hast remained a virgin as before, therefore confessing with heart and tongue that thou art a mother of God, we magnify thee. When moved by godly faith, we touch your sacred relics, we are healed, made strong in both soul and body. O blessed Loras and Floras, O ye great martyrs, as ye stand now in the presence of the Lord, make ye remembrance of us all, who celebrate your resplendent and brightly beaming remembrance. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, we who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, in the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven. At the prayers of our fathers, among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy martyrs, Floris and Alores of Illyricum, with the prayers of the holy multitude of paupers who break the idols to pieces and were perfected in martyrdom by fire. With the prayers of the holy martyrs, Hermas, Serapion and Polyanus of Rome, with the prayers of the holy martyr Juliana of Nicomedia and the holy martyr Leo who contested by the sea near Myra of Lycia. With the prayers of the holy four desert ascetics repose in peace. With the prayers of our fathers among the saints John and George, the patriarchs of Constantinople. With the prayers of our righteous God-bearing fathers Barnabas and Sophronius, his nephew, who are from Athens, and Christopher of Trapezond, who struggled in asceticism on Mount Mela. With the prayers of our righteous God-bearing father Arsenius the New, who was from Ionia and struggled in asceticism on the Isle of Paros. With the prayers of our righteous God-bearing father Sophronius, who struggled in asceticism in the skit of St. Anna on the Holy Mountain. 
through the prayers of the holy Harum martyr Emilian and the holy martyrs Hilarion, Dionysius and Hermippus in Italy, with the prayers of our righteous father John of Rila of Bulgaria, with the prayers of St. Dag of Iniskin, with the prayers of St. Ivan of Ayrshire, with the prayers of St. Helena and those with them whose memory we keep this day. With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. With the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. 